what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the healing help update and how lilith has fixed this now i literally just woke up i made my coffee and i had some alliance members tell me you gotta jump on you have to read the mail that lilith sent the player base and i was so relieved to see this message um i think this is incredibly honest message from Lilith and it's worth talking about because this is relating to the healing update that they released a couple of weeks ago where they kind of nerfed the amount of healing that you can do as a player and myself and many others were highly critical of this update we said that it does more damage than good we talked about different ways to fix this problem and how you know we were really disappointed to see Lilith take that action and Lilith has changed their policy on this which is really good and it's worth me discussing this right because i think that if we're going to to create a mob of anger and frustration and criticism when lilith does something that we disagree with it's only fair that we as a community come together when they actually address that issue and go ahead and fix it right i think that that's not too much to ask i think that again you know if if all we ever do is be a mob of frustration and anger and criticism then you know it's not showing our appreciation for when lilith actually does the right thing and so i wanted to make this video going over what the change is and then get talk about this change right but also give Lilith the credit that they do deserve for actually listening to the community which is is really incredible I'm very happy to hear that now I do want to read this really quick and as we go through this I'm going to give you guys my opinions and talk about the each individual point that Lilith makes in this message so let's go ahead and read this it says Alliance help system improvement greetings governor since we announced the change to the Alliance help system limiting the amount of times governors can be helped by allies to 1,000 times per day we have received valuable feedback and opinions about this change from many governors that's you guys right that means that they are listening to the community that means that when you're voicing your opinions that they they're being heard by somebody right and that's good news that's what you would want from a game company the next paragraph says most governors are worried that this change will affect their gaming experience and also question whether it will actually solve the botting problem we would like to take this opportunity to discuss the background behind this change in greater detail we made the above said change in order to discourage a new way of botting that was recently detected in lost kingdoms some governors were using a botting tool to heal their wounded units more frequently and quickly than normally possible by exploiting a loophole in the current alliance help system giving themselves an unfair advantage this is a little bit unclear to me um are they are they talking about the alliance skill that automatically heals a minimum of like three minutes like, is that a loophole I, I feel like they they intentionally put that in the game but anyway uh the current loophole allowed these botting players to heal large numbers of wounded troops immediately by healing a small part of them each time and getting helped by their botting accounts in this way they were able to attack other players repeatedly with a little effort which broke the balance of our gaming environment in addition there are other uncertainties hidden in this loophole which is why we decided to prioritize changing the alliance help system to fix this so this is again this is pretty much what we already assumed i think that this paragraph is just for those players who are new and don't really understand what was going on um this is pretty much all what we expected the only thing that's worth noting is that um there are other there are other additional uh, uncertainties hidden in the loophole so i don't know what they mean by this but maybe you know maybe if you get 30 helps instantaneously maybe it doesn't register in the game and you're able to get more than 30 helps that's the only like uncertainty or unknown that i could really you know think of here uh, maybe the game just doesn't expect to get 30 helps immediately and that could break the system that's totally a possibility the next paragraph says since the change was implemented we have been monitoring its effects on actual gameplay and found that the majority of our governors have not been affected this is, does not surprise me and I'll talk about this meanwhile tracking data shows that cheating has been reduced substantially in the game that's great that's amazing news of course we also realize that some governors have been affected by this change and after careful consideration we have decided to implement further adjustments so amazing right now when they're monitoring the effects on actual gameplay um, a majority of governors not being affected doesn't surprise me and there's a couple of reasons why uh, one a lot of players aren't heavy fighters right uh, that's just because most players are free to play and it's just it just goes to show that like not that many people are heavy 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 fighters and you know the the, the nerf still allowed them to heal about 60,000 troops a day instantaneously uh, plus they can bulk heal overnight and things like that so it doesn't surprise me in that regard but also this patch wasn't out for very long so you know they only had what two three weeks to collect data from it uh, a lot of in that time a lot of players 
weren't in kvk right and so that's when you're going to be doing the most amount of fighting and if a majority of the player base isn't in kvk then obviously they're not going to see uh they're not going to be affected by the nerf because they're not fighting and finally many players at least i know this is true for me um a lot of players were kind of fed up with this system and just gave up trying to heal in small batches anyway right and i know this is this is what i did when i would fight in the lost kingdom i'm, I'm still in kvk when i would fight i would fill my hospital and when i used all my healing speed ups i would stop fighting and i would heal in bulk right i would just say okay well i'll come back tomorrow and fight and so i didn't even try to do this bulk uh, or i'm sorry batch healing thing and so i i already adjusted my behavior uh to reflect the negative change in the game and so that would indicate from from the data perspective that i wasn't affected even though i was i just changed my own behavior on its behalf so there's many reasons why they wouldn't see a majority of governors be affected by this and i think that it's it's logical to, to think that of course they wouldn't be affected especially if they're not in kvk the next paragraph says we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused to any governors who were not cheating and yet were still negatively impacted it is obviously not the result we expected and we wish to emphasize that we never intended to promote the sales of healing speed up items by making this change now how they couldn't expect this result i i have no idea um i mean obviously they they were kind of looking at this in a unidirectional perspective right they only had one perspective which was beat cheaters and so maybe but i think that that players getting negatively affected that weren't cheating i feel like that was obvious so how they didn't expect that i don't know but regardless um it says that they weren't promoting the the sales of healing speed ups sure right sure we, we have to give them the benefit of the doubt right it, i mean they did go ahead and fix the problem and they fixed it relatively quickly so hey we got to give them the benefit of the doubt i'm gonna say okay fine they they weren't they weren't promoting sales of healing speed ups cool i'll take their word for it next it says we are going to make the following adjustments to the aforementioned change to minimize its influence on all normal governors while continuing to fight against botting that's great that's what the community wanted so the first bullet point says governors can still receive help an unlimited number of times that's the biggest part right that is the key an unlimited number of helps that's what we wanted that was best case scenario but after being helped in healing troops 1000 times per day there will be a random cooldown time quite short before you can receive such helps again now obviously lilith is being vague about this because they don't want to reveal too much about how they're fighting botters because if they reveal too much then bots can adjust accordingly and so the fact that this is random is good that's a great way to fight bots because bots aren't good with hand handling randomness um and the fact that it says quite short i i i want to think that it's minutes right i'm thinking you know if you get a thousand helps per day that random cooldown i'm hoping is anywhere from 10 minutes to maybe 60 minutes i don't know that's my guess um we have no way of knowing until we take you know do some trial and error figure this out um but regardless i still think that the fact that they're unlimited i'm okay with there being a short cooldown i'm totally okay with that and in fact i think that's reasonable i think that's a that's a, a middle ground that we can all agree on and i think it is worth noting that we should want to fight against bots right um i don't know how big the healing bot problem was but it's not good for the game right no one's arguing that so so the fact that this is a compromise that that solves both problems allegedly is good next it says governors were will earn more healing speed up items from daily objective rewards which is designed to further decrease the potential side effect of the above change so this is even better right this is saying like hey there's going to be some time where you won't be able to get instant helps and because of that we're going to give you some healing speed up items from daily rewards which i think is good and the third point says we are going to offer a gift to all governors as compensation for any inconvenience caused by this change all above adjustments will go live at 2 30 utc on july 9th 2020. this is good um they're giving us 100 at least for me i got 100 hours of healing speed ups um i've heard people say they got 300 hours i don't know how they determine that that may not be true um comment down below what your reward was um for me it was 100 hours of healing speed ups and i can say that uh, i am in kvk and this change took place during major events and so i can confidently say that i spent way more than a hundred universal speed ups healing so this this reward does not accurately reflect the damage that the update did however i'm willing to you know turn a blind eye to that because lilith 
fix the problem right they fix the problem and that that's fine um also other players probably weren't affected at all in fact it says a majority of players weren't affected and so a majority of players are actually getting uh, a ton of healing speed ups that they that are just for free so i'm willing to take that loss if a majority of players are taking a win right that's totally cool and finally it says and we will as always fight against botting and other cheating behaviors in the game and do our best to ensure the gaming experience of all normal governors if you have any questions or suggestions about these adjustments please leave a comment on any of our official communities or contact customer support directly so this is good obviously and i've said this in my original video but we want them to fight against botting right um botting ruins the experience of players and um this is great i want to see them attack uh the resource botters because i i have gotten messages lately i've gotten like three messages in the last 24 hours asking if i want to buy resources it's a it's a problem right it's a it's a frustrating problem um but this is great right what this is this is an open invitation for feedback and criticism which is it's perfect that's exactly what you want from a game developer right you want them to encourage their player base to give them feedback so this is great i'm, I'm happy to see that lilith has finally changed this update and change it to something that is a bit more player friendly um and i i want to just say like to all of you guys that like were flooding their official reddit their official discord their uh, official social media accounts their even their reviews on the google play store and the apple um the app store this it actually helps right it does help to make your voice heard and i think this is this is a prime example of that right they literally said that after seeing valuable feedback and opinions that they decided to make a change and so what this means going forward is that if we can band together as a as a community and basically ask lilith or tell lilith like hey this is a bad update and this is why we think so i think as long as we remain objective about it and 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 you know say hey like we can't say you know oh there, there's not enough uh universal legendary commander sculptures in the game for free to play players right like that's that's subjective right i agree but it is technically subjective whereas this was objectively a bad patch right it, it literally did more damage in my opinion than it did good um they say that they didn't see a majority of governors affected however i think had they left it much longer and and, and given time for everybody to go in a kvk i think that it certainly would have been the case so this is good um shout out to everybody who kind of uh, made your voices heard and, and and told lilith what you wanted to see and that you were disappointed in them and and i think that this proves that we are able to make positive change on the game and it, and it shows that lilith is listening which you know is amazing that's that's great to hear and so uh, again what i want to finally wrap this up with is that if you were one of the players who left a one star review or you you know were you're hating them in on social media or on reddit or whatever i think it's important that we also thank lilith for this right um because we we can't just point out the bad and ignore the good we have to encourage the good behavior that lilith is doing as developers and as a company because that's it's it's fair right that that's how it's supposed to be um we should recognize that when they're doing good uh, in the same way that we recognize when they're not doing so good and so i encourage you guys make sure you post on their social media get, give them a ton of likes on their facebook posts and things like that um, because the, the the whole team at lilith was affected by this you know i think the players or the people that work at lilith that post on on their facebook page have nothing to do with this right and yet that facebook page was still bombarded with angry reacts and hate comments and things like that and so the whole entirety of lilith was affected by this even though not everybody was responsible at Lilith for this and so again I want to encourage you guys make sure that you you go to their official channels and um, you you kind of show them your support and your thanks and gratitude for changing this because it's it's only right it's only right they listen to us as a community and so we should be grateful for that also this goes without saying but if you left a one star review on the game because of this patch i think um we should delete those one star reviews uh that's that's again only fair um and i don't think that the one star reviews are an accurate representation of the game if this patch if that patch is removed right perhaps you may feel that it was a one star review that was worth leaving because of that the negative impact you felt from that patch but now that that patch has been changed i think that it removing that one star review is justified and i do hope that a lot of you guys will consider doing that 
So with that being said, guys, my previous video, I asked for 300 likes to wear a suit in a future video. I don't think that that video has quite reached that goal yet. So make sure you head over to my sunset Canyon guide, drop a like on that video. And while you're here, drop a like on this one as well. The golden kingdom event finally showed up in my kingdom. And so expect a guide or at least a let's play of this specific game mode with my thoughts and opinions. I'm very excited to, uh, to share with you guys some of the things that I did. I was able to get to like floor 18 before I lost so keep an eye out for that I know a lot of you guys have already messaged me about asking for a guide and asking for my thoughts and opinions on this on this event and so I'm very excited to do that for you later in the next couple of days with that being said make sure you subscribe to the channel for more rise of kingdoms videos click that bell to be notified the next time I upload a video of rise of kingdoms comment down below any uh, thoughts or opinions you have on this healing patch fix I'm really excited to see this. Make sure you guys, again, go show some support for Lilith and the developers on their official pages. As always, my social media links are in the description below. Follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter. My Discord is down there, as well as my Twitch, where I try to stream Rise of Kingdoms. I haven't been streaming the last couple of days because I've been working a ton, but I'm not quitting streaming. So go ahead and drop a follow down there. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.